It's said that in the early days of Walmart, Sam Walton would monitor how stores were doing by counting the cars in the parking lot. Now, imagine if he could count the cars at every Walmart and cross-reference that data with local promotions, or if he could capture the make, model, and age of every car to decide the best locations to add auto centers. 60 years after Sam opened his first store, the power of collecting web data is making these once unknowable questions remarkably knowable. It's making the boardrooms, product labs, and marketing departments of many top companies look more like intelligence agencies. This revolution is partly technical. Vast networks of proxy servers, purpose-built for large-scale public web data collection, have made it possible to collect, structure, and interpret data in wildly useful new ways. This is a change on the order of Salesforce transforming customer relationship management, or Slack replacing office email. It's also philosophical. The art of leadership now depends less on being able to guess the right answers and more on formulating good questions. Get the questions right, and to an outside observer, your competitive advantage can look downright unfair. But asking good questions doesn't always come naturally. How much time do you spend doing research before you make a big decision? For many of us, the answer is not much. Humans naturally make assumptions to simplify a complex world. Spotting patterns, drawing on experiences, sharing tips, and following our guts. Clearing away existing assumptions can help you stumble upon new information, like a beginner might. That means approaching business decisions without preconceptions, even when studying situations we think we know very well. It can reveal connections that are hiding in plain sight, like how the number of cars in the parking lot aligns with the number of dollars hitting the bottom line. Data lets you see marketplace dynamics across products, pricing, inventory, supply chains, and consumer behaviors. It tells you what customers are doing, surfaces critical trends, and can even help you anticipate what your competitors will do next. Gathering insight from public web data presents a tipping point. Companies that miss the rise of the internet or the mobile economy pay dearly. Miss the web data revolution, and you could become the next blockbuster video. How fast is this growing? At Bright Data, we process 15 billion requests per day, or more than 1.5 times all the world's search engines combined, and that number is steadily increasing. The answers are out there. Now here are some of the bright questions our clients are asking in order to find them. As an analyst at a Boston hedge fund, I have a lot of pressure to generate new investment ideas. I spent a lot of time browsing through my stock screeners when a chemical company caught my eye. The company's numbers looked strong, but I wanted to understand if they could maintain their pricing power in an inflationary environment. That's when it hit me. Since the company was one of the largest vendors to the bleach industry, I could track bleach prices in every market that the company supplied. I was able to uncover a clear trend of rising retail prices, indicating that the company had pricing power and could likely protect its margins. In today's investment parlance, public web data like this is called alternative data, and most hedge funds are already using it to supplement conventional sources such as earnings calls and annual reports. Think aerial imagery of distribution centers, social media listening to investor sentiment, or weather monitoring to predict crops. I lead the marketing for a European fashion brand where I'm responsible for maintaining an impeccable brand image and customer experience. This means every photograph has to be on brand. Descriptions must be correct. Promotions have to follow seasonal campaigns. There can be no unauthorized sales or discounts. Shipping times have to be quick. But in a world with tens of thousands of online resellers, how do you maintain brand integrity? For my team, the answer is public web data. We continually search the internet for our products and feed the results to an algorithm that notifies us of any changes or concerns. Being able to search text, images, audio, and video at scale is being used to protect all kinds of brands and their intellectual property. It helps artists spot uses for their work online and allows social media platforms to block the upload of unlicensed material. Most importantly, by harnessing the power of web data, 
I can do my job better than anyone else. My company lives or dies by web traffic. My challenge is to make sure that our sites remain the most accurate and complete destination on the web for deals from travel agencies, hotels, and airlines. Although many travel providers make basic information like pricing and schedules available through APIs, the data is often fragmented, stale, or incomplete. So what's our solution? We continuously collect the most current offers across the web. We get the data in a format that allows us to algorithmically sort and present it to consumers so they can easily spot the best price, the shortest route, the perfect date, and even free Wi-Fi if that's what matters to them. Web data is powerful for aggregators like my company, but it also works for the end suppliers. For example, the hotels on our travel site can collect data to understand how their rates stack up against the competition. Last spring, I came up with a great product, earphones with a built-in equalizer that lets you personalize the sound based on age-related hearing changes. But without a great business strategy, I knew my product would never get off the ground. My first move was to use public data collection tools to discover every competitive product on Amazon and other retail sites. Then I built a database of prices, features, rankings, and everything else that could help me position my product in the sweet spot. Next was to set up the continuous tracking of competitive data, everything from prices, discounts, inventory levels, and shipping times, to variables like colors, upsells, and user reviews. On top of that, each variable could be segmented by country and region down to the area code. All this data was exactly what I needed to get a serious edge when it came to setting up my marketing funnels, pricing strategies, and email promotions. Virtually every e-commerce business can follow this approach to capture and structure web data into real, actionable intelligence. You can think of web data collection as going to the public library and reading every book. Providers like Bright Data have a vested interest in keeping this library open and take extra precautions to ensure its integrity. We do this through a code of ethics and software protocols. We see the collection and analysis of public web data as a significant positive development for society. It's a strong competitive advantage for business. It enhances the choices for customers. And it also helps us grapple with some of the most important environmental and social issues of our time. On a cool spring morning last year, police kicked in the door of an apartment in South Chicago. Once inside, they arrested two people suspected of human trafficking. They rescued four women aged 17 to 26 and recovered cash, drugs, and guns. These arrests were part of an operation that collected data from online commercial sex advertisements, data science, and network analysis to identify potential trafficking activity. This story comes courtesy of the Bright Initiative, our ongoing commitment to using public web data collection to drive progress in areas such as human rights, regulation, climate change, public health, and internet safety. Today, the web data adoption curve is rapidly accelerating. Users are asking smart questions and finding valuable answers across every possible domain, from realtors to portfolio managers, manufacturers to musicians, startups to multinationals. Just imagine if you were the only person on earth with access to Google. You'd probably be acing every exam, leapfrogging everyone on your career path, and amazing friends with your uncanny knowledge it would probably be obvious that you were working with a secret advantage. Now, think of Micah bringing the best investment ideas to the table, Jill building a pristine brand, Bert dominating the travel space, Maya getting traction with her startup, not to mention acts of justice and heroism all powered by the wonder of web data. Web data collection tools are like having a superpower. And at the current pace of change, Failing to grasp them now could leave you with that sinking feeling you get when you realize you're trapped somewhere without Wi-Fi. 
but there's no reason for you to get stuck. The tools are laid out before you. All you have to do is work on phrasing the right questions and then just ask.